Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. Uh, yeah, it's been a few, been, well, it's been what, a few weeks now since the last episode. Uh, yeah, I need to say things have been the greatest for me, but uh, I think they're doing pretty good. Uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of work since the last episode. This is my new, new basement. Eventually, I want to end up moving all the, all the boilers and the generators and all that stuff down into here. It's going to be like the, the bowels of the, the factory sort of, you know, get all the the infrastructure down below so that all the, the money makers can be up top. And I'll take you and show you that. Uh, I'm just mining some uh, basalt right now because uh, soon we're going to be getting through titanium. Not in this episode because, uh, yeah, that's, that's a little bit of work. I want to do some upgrades and uh, get some logic, some logistical stuff going and some logical stuff going. Um, yeah, the reason I have been looking for titanium, I did some a little bit of caving, a little bit of mining. You find it, but it is so rare, and it's minimal deposits. I have been all the way down to the very bottom of the world. I've checked in the granite, I've checked in all the usual places, and it seems like the most abundant source is basalt. You just run that through the industrial separator. Uh, hang on a second here. Oh yeah, got a macerator first into basalt dust, and you get titanium oxide dust, uh, which uh, goes into oh yeah, into prepared titanium oxide dust, which we have to mix with chlorine to make uh, tetrahydro, whatever this thing is, so we can make the titanium sponge, which you can go ahead and start making titanium ingots. So fun. Yes, uh, we're not going to get to that today. We're going to start working with, uh, I want to get a bit of a storeroom going, uh, somewhere where I can have all the stuff that's being made in this factory in sort of like a storeroom. I haven't really thought about how to do that yet. I have been uh, uh, been messing around with the conveyor junctions, as you can tell, and, I, and a big sh and a shout out and a big thank you to Maltazona on the, the official Evil Space Discord. He, uh, they mentioned about roots. Now, I didn't doesn't say anywhere any about what the roots actually do, other than you know it goes from point A to point B, but it's already set like that. But the roots will actually avoid any actual delay because when an item goes in, it'll sit there for between half a second, and one second, till the engine says, "Okay, well, there's an empty conveyor, go down that side." This way, as soon as it comes in on the pink, it automatically says to go to directs it to go to these three. So when you go ahead and let's say I'm gonna dump a whole bunch of dirt in here because I don't I don't need the dirt. As you can see, it actually splits it up evenly. So we'll go right, left, forward, and it's a uh, it's a good for um, a good rationing system. And as you can see, as it goes through, it immediately leaves, so it doesn't hog, clog up the system and usually doesn't have any issues any issues with it uh, I will have to do that down in here because I'm starting to have a bit of an issue with uh, one of the boilers not getting enough fuel let's actually go to the basement I can show you down there I left a bit of an opening uh, also and uh, we'll get into this, this is actually sort of the way the storage system is gonna work because I'm gonna actually have a display telling me exactly how much I have in there and I do actually yes I do actually have one on me so as you can see, we have the item counters here. This one has 83 items in the chest. This one has 83, 84 items in the chest going up. Uh, if you have multiple item, or yeah, multiple steel counters set up, and they only work on the chests, not the the racks. That's why I'm doing it this way. But if you have multiples set up, and you hook up a logic circuit to it, or a logic display, it'll actually add up all the numbers of those and tell you a full quantity. So this is how I'm going to be storing my stuff. Uh, I have made stainless steel containers, and I worked out them being able to hold about 1,100 parts in a 64 stack, like most things are, like uh, uh, well, like their components and plates and stuff like that. They stack 32s, I'm sorry, 32, not 64. But then they get other things like the blocks will stack in 64s, and same with the, well, the logs of 32, but you get other stuff that are 1,000. But anyway, so then I'll, what I'll do is my system is probably going to have probably five or six chests with the con counters with logic wire and a display. And then they're all going to be basically fed. I had this set up somewhere. Where did I have it set up? Oh, right here. No, that wasn't it. It was upstairs. Run upstairs. I need an elevator. 
yeah yeah this is what I've done so what basically what's gonna happen I got the same thing here I got the logistically set up so I'm gonna go ahead and let's just dump some more dirt in there so that tells me there's 1100 uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the chests going in sequence so there'll be six chests in line uh, the, the input the product is gonna be going into the first chest I'm just gonna have stainless steel arms carrying it down the line so at the very end well it doesn't have to be stainless steel but at the very end, it's going to be a chest with a display over top. One of those telling me how many items are in the system. And all I do is open up that one chest and take out what I need, and the rest just funnel back in. So that's that's my idea. I might try to find a way to work out the displays, too, to actually have, like, uh, could even use a phony rack, for instance. Uh, the chest down below the rack on top with one item in it locked so in that way I can get the image of the actual item without the number and yeah that will work because if you take everything out once it's already been once it's been set it's gonna stay locked to the stainless steel plates so that's my theory anyway so that is that uh, let's go check on the stainless situation oh, it's the wrong floor it's down here you might have to color code these floors uh, yeah, so stainless steel situation is here. What I have done is I've added a second arc furnace just to keep things rolling a little bit better so we can get more stainless steel going because I also do want to upgrade some machines. Uh, one of them I do want to upgrade, it just happens to be the uh, industrial separator just for speed because that way we can get the stainless steel running a little bit faster. Uh, something else I want to do today, I know I'm sort of all over the place, is I actually want to start getting some brass going. Brass is fairly simple. Zinc and copper, and now I smell to get your brass. The zinc just happens to come from copper. And then you get a couple others to nickel we can put back into the system here. The iron dust could go back downstairs, it could go somewhere else. I don't know, and the cobalt will save for later because we will need that for hard metal. So, yeah. Uh, you can also get it from gold, but I don't really have a use for gold. It's too quiet in here. That's better. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, and then for the, the copper, I'm thinking what I might do is I might just feed off the copper line we have down here just because we have so much of it. I might just leave this all set up with steel. But what I'll do is I'll just have another arm on top of the macerator here pulling up and then we'll go up and bring it up to the next floor. So there's that. And then, oh yeah, one other thing. First, let's get some light here. Uh, I actually want to set a failsafe on this. Now, I have been uh, messing around with these, and uh, if you use an item, let's see if I have enough on me to make another one of these. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. I want one of those. Okay, if I take one of these, we can actually place it on the tank. Gonna make sure it's going the right way so it says 256 and I can already tell I'm gonna have to dump this now because if this fill if this fills up as you can see the coke oven stop so that is a problem uh, yeah this one feeds these tanks this one goes down the drain so now the coke ovens should start running eventually I wonder if I have to actually upgrade the, the pipes for them. This would actually... Let's actually see what other dumps there are. Oh, okay. I thought right-click would actually work in here. I know you can do that in Minecraft. Okay, we can. So I might have to make a stainless steel fluid dump eventually. No, oh, there they go. They're starting to fire up. All right, that is good. Alright, so yeah, let's actually get this started first. Alright, so I need a few more item counters. Uh, let's go back to stainless. I need more stainless. Uh, let me get some supplies, clear, clear out my inventory, and I will be right back. Actually, before I leave, there's one other, other little thing I want to try to do. Yes, it's going to be a lot of logistical stuff today, but uh, I want to sort of have like a main dumping area for all the ores. When I go mining, I can just go and mine it, whatever. Just copper, iron, gold, titanium, even 
even basalt and just have a main chest I dump it all into and then I can go take off and get some more and they just have arms that actually pull everything out and bring it to there bring it to there and bring it upstairs wherever it needs and so on so anyways uh, let me get some stuff ready and I'll be right back okay I'm back and I should have everything with me uh, what I am gonna do is I'm actually gonna swap these tanks out or one of them anyways uh, let's take this one out uh, get rid of that, and we are going to put a uh, stainless steel one here, if I can. Oh, i got to place another block, I think. Uh, it doesn't want me to do it. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the heat exchanger, too. That's something we're going to have to start looking at once we can start getting into the, the titanium age. Are you going to be difficult? I think you are. Hmm. All right, fine. We'll have to do it this way, then. Give me that pipe. We'll place a block. That's not a block. That's a block. <laughs> I could have done it that way. Oh, when do I ever do anything easy? Alright, and uh, this was steel. Yeah. And we do that. That should be pumping in here, hopefully. Uh, no, it's voiding right now. Okay, uh, I had to do a little test. Yes, uh, I do have it figured out. So basically, what's going to happen is there's going to be uh, two circuits on on the valves. Uh, actually, it might have to be yeah, a circuit on each valve because one side is going to be opening at a certain level and closing at a certain level. The other one, and the other one's going to be sort of opposite. So basically, when the tank's full, it's going to be open. When it's full, you know what I mean. Uh, okay, let's see how we're doing here. Are we getting, yeah, we're getting some creosote in there, so we can actually get rid of this stuff here. So we'll take this one out. We'll take this out. I took out the wrong one. And uh, yeah, uh, people have mentioned about this uh, stainless steel tool being a little on the OP side. That's the wrong spot, of course it is. Meanwhile, the production just grinds to a halt. Okay, that is good, so we can get rid of all this extra pipe, which is nice. Uh, I do want to keep the creosote going, I want to keep these coke ovens going, because we're going to need the coke dust down the line. Okay, so, basically what I want to do is I want to get this circuit set up on these pipes here. I did have to switch this over to a stainless steel dump because it wasn't dumping fast enough needless to say those three ovens there were not running just couldn't dump it enough all right so uh i guess i'll just take it out here oh actually no that'd be a bad spot to do it uh i do have to have one here and then i do have to have one here i also have to make sure that the, the logic wires do not cross i gotta go grab that other other one over here, I'll just grab uh, this guy and that. I made a whole bunch of wire too, because I'm probably going to need it. Probably need to make more of it, and stuff's not easy to make. And you know, I have this aluminum tool on me, but I don't actually use it. And I should. But where's the fun in that, right? Okay, so that's going good. Alright, so now we go over here, and then we place. Let's see here, uh, get rid of that, we need those, yes, it's not actually a val valve, it's a vent, alright, uh, let's see here, aha, I got the right one, okay, now let's see if we can actually get up top here, okay, like so, so basically what happened, what it is, is, how does this work? I think I think if it's lit it's closed that is a theory anyways so let us do I need I need four circuits here probably should put this in a better spot actually you know what I can do I can get rid of this because I don't actually need, to need this here anymore okay now uh, let me think about this and I'll be right back Okay, so what I've done is I put, put it here and I put it over here, move it closer over here because this is where all the 
the technology is going to be. So we'll go ahead and we'll get our counter just here. We'll go ahead and make sure it's facing the right way, facing the tank. Good. So we have 16 in there. So now I want to set up two circuits here. Is it two going to be enough? Let me think here. Okay, uh, that's gonna be coming off of here. So we're gonna have. I wonder if we're gonna actually set that, have that read a number. I don't think I can. All right. Well, we're gonna place one here. We're gonna place. I guess we can place one right there instead. Do that. Okay. This is gonna be. G is less than Y, and this is gonna be. Uh, if G is greater than Y. And of course, I'm going to have to rotate them by the looks of it. Where's my screwdriver? There's my screwdriver. Okay, that way and that way. Okay, so now green or yellow on this side is going to be. We're going to need two more. Actually, I'm going to need a few more. Oh, I have a few more. Okay, we can use the steel ones. All right, we could set that to a number. Uh, oh, we can't. Really? Oh, I guess we can't. All right. Stainless steel it is. Okay, we'll set that to uh, 512. Actually, set it to 500. I'm going to go on the other side here and set this one to 10. Just because, so basically, it's going to make sure it's a little bit left in the system. All right, so now we take some logic wire, go like that and that. So that's reading green. All right, so that's going to be greater than and let's see. Greater than y. Why? Nope. It's gonna be. This one's less than. This one's gonna be greater than. Greater than yellow. Yeah. So basically, what it's saying is, if this is reading right now, it's reading 13. If green is greater than the number here, which is 10, then it's gonna close the valves. So then from here, I'm gonna take. Actually, I think I only need one. Uh, okay, so yeah, I think I just have to do this then. You'll have to excuse me. This is actually the first time I've ever done that. Okay, so that's going to close the valve, I do believe. Where did that open it? Let's give it a second here. There isn't much running in this, in, inside the factory right now, so i got to wait for this to update. And by the looks of it, it's open. Yes, it is. All right. So in, in that case, uh, all right. Well, then this will have to be. What is it right now? Greater than. So it's going to be less than, and we'll just change this to five hundred then. Wait a minute, well, wait. Still going. Give me a second. Yep, I'm right. I was right. Well, I was actually right the other way. Uh, green is supposed to be greater than ye yellow. So if yellow is 500, uh, if green is over 500, then it's going to shut the valve. So when it's powered, it's actually closed. I think that's what it was. hard to actually tell what's going on here. 
That doesn't help much to have the other valve open. Uh, let's actually just set that up, shall we? Oh, this is supposed to be a number. Uh, it's 10. Uh, if uh, green is less than yellow, right? Yeah. Alright, so then we go uh, up to here. If this works, I might have to configure it a little bit. Uh, just because. Let's make this a little neat. Okay. Oh, no, we can't do that. That's what we call a short circuit. Well, we won't actually short anything out, but uh, give it an inaccurate reading, and uh, the circuit won't actually work. All right, let's grab this. Come here. Ooh. I know I'm rambling. This is going to end up being a long episode. Okay, so let us see what we have up here. All right, so you... You're both closed. The green is... Oh wait, no, I do need two of them. Yeah, uh, I think I do. Yeah, I do. Hang on. Okay, you know what? I'm actually overcomplicating this thing. It doesn't need to be both sides. It only needs to be one valve right at the dump. And so right now we are, I think we're dumping. And that was me jumping, apparently. Let's get some light in the situation here. Let's see what this is doing. Okay, it's going down. So that is open. So if let's change this to uh, green is less than yellow. Alright, let's just do this and we'll do Oh, greater than yellow. Alright, uh, less than yellow. That should start filling up. Yep. Yeah. So, right now it's reedy. It's it is dumping. Okay, hang on. Okay, so now we know that if it's lit, it's actually working. Or it's on. So, if green is. Less than yellow, no, then we want greater than yellow. And that shuts it off. And it is still going. I'm wondering if there's actually fluid in the system, in the pipes. Apparently the pipes do hold liquid. All right, so that should work then. So if this fills up, then I'll start dumping it. And then as soon as it drops down below 500, shuts it again. It's actually set this 256. Give us a little bit of buffer. It's not like we're gonna need a lot of it. All right, well that was seriously overcomplicated and or done overly complicated. It didn't have to be that much. I was trying to get two valves in, but we don't need two valves. We don't. But now the question is... Oh yeah, let's just take this out. Because it's going to be set to a closed state, I believe. We'll do that, if I can. There we go. Alright, well at least... Shouldn't have to worry about this. This fills up fast. And that should at least keep the, the coat going. Oh, yeah. It's going fast. So we'll come and check on this later. All right, now on to the next thing. I have a business. And what was that? I was going to get that going. I was going to get... I was going to get the drop-off and... Storage. 
Okay, I have made a whole bunch of red brick. I'm thinking about actually using the redstone brick to actually build this structure. Uh, but first, I think I need to get some more inventory space and make some more stuff for the next project. Oh yes, that's what we're doing. We're upgrading these. Okay, so I have them made. Let's get those on the hot bar. Where are they? There they are. Uh, okay, we'll get rid of this one here. We place one of you here. Oh. I always thought the industrial one was down below. Alright, give me a second. Okay. Actually, why those are crafting? Uh, let's go up to the roof for a second. Because I have test checked out one new toy. Uh, nobody saw it in my, in my inventory because it has no icon. Where is it? Oh, oh, where are you? Aha, solar panels. Uh, they apparently don't generate a lot of power, but they're a nice big block, and I do plan on getting a big solar farm going eventually. Now the question is, where do you hook up the wire? Is it going on the bottom? I don't know, but uh, I don't know if you can notice it, but it does actually rotate. Let's go over here. So it follows the sun. Terrible output though. It's like... Whatever it's gonna be, it's... Not much, but... Get a hundred of them. You never know. I am actually might cover the whole roof with them. But anyways, let's go back down here and get this... Oh, that's the wrong floor. Uh, I think this whole floor might be just for the titanium alone. I don't know, because I want to get the brass set up here, too. Uh, so first, let's go over here. And now that I think about it, is I want to get the cop uh, brass going up here. We'll actually get another one of these. All right, excuse me. i got to borrow that for a second. And uh, get the right one. Uh. Aha. Okay, now which way did I have this? That way apparently. And I just remembered I shut down my iron line, which doesn't really matter because it's not really getting too much done at the moment. Because we have backlog. Alright. Okay, there we go. This is going to go so much faster now. Look at that. The aluminum version was doing 0.7, I think. Now this is 2.2. Let's go check the one upstairs quickly. While I have an industrial separator in my face. Uh, now one of the things I'm going to suggest to the developer is adding the ability to actually move the characters while on the conveyor belt. So when you run into your factory, you have a bunch of conveyor belts all over the place. You're like going left, right, left, right. Or if you're lazy, it's for easy transportation. Okay, um... What was I doing over here? There's that. Uh, excuse me, sir. Okay, so now we're gonna get start getting into the. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, what's the name for it now? Brass. Yes, that's what it is. Uh, brass. Now, what I want to try to do is I want to actually see if I can get the nickel back into this stacker here because this is actually feeding into our solid fuel here. Uh, no, that's not it. Where's the nickel going? over here. So then I gotta get the nickel feeding back into here because that's actually the byproduct of... No, it wasn't that. Where is nickel coming from again? Uh, nickel. Where was nickel coming from? Downstairs. Okay. Can I feed that back in here? That's actually not nickel we need in here. It's iron. Yes, because I gotta get the iron going a little more. Uh, yeah, anyways, brass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop an industrial separator here. Uh, I do have to realize I have to get another motor made and stuff like that. We'll leave some room because I think I might have to use that shelf as well. Uh, what else do we actually need for the brass? We need an alloy smelter. And then, uh, let me see here. Because we only make one thing with it, and that's the, the components, or the brass parts we need. Uh... Can we not hammer this stuff? I 
Okay, well, I guess, uh, just in time for the crickets, I guess we're not actually going to be having automated cutting of the brass. We're just going to be basically making it. All right, well, and that means i got to get some conveyors down, so uh, we need a stacker for one. Uh, do I have aluminum on me? Yes, I do. We'll just use an aluminum stacker. We'll get uh, one of these. Drop that down here on the end. I also need a motor. Yes, electric motor. Uh, where is it? I need copper. Yeah, uh, let me get the rest of the stuff I need. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, also have a bit of an... I figured out what's going on with the iron dust problem. It's... Because uh, we... Because I left it idle for so long that it needs to get backed up a little bit more. So we might try to... I might actually try to get the other iron back into here that we get out of... What are we actually getting out of the co uh, copper? I'm sorry. I'm tripping from my feet again. Uh, let's see here. Check this again, and yeah, we do get a little bit of iron. Uh, speaking of which, I need to make filtering robots. E. Uh, so I need lenses. Uh, let me see what I can find. Okay, I'm back. I'm for real this time. I do have everything made. I got the, the motor made. Let's get the motor on the bar. And we'll place this down. I just want to do aluminum because we don't really need anything more than the aluminum. Grab some wire. Uh, wires in here somewhere. And go with the same thing. We'll just come across top. Like so. Like that. Uh, there and. Perfect. Alright, so that's got getting power now. So now we go to the stacker. We are going to place. I'm going to try. I'm thinking about just, use, just using the steel conveyors because uh, it's not like we need to really produce a lot of this. And the reason why I want to go steel is if I go steel conveyors and I have stainless steel filtering robots, that maybe uh, the speed, the tier difference will allow them to run faster or keep up, I should say. So we'll go ahead and do this. All right, I go with that, 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 that. And now that I think about it, I should probably take this out. And now i got to find some copper. So now i got to run down here. I actually think I have to go do some mining, but uh, I'm sure going through copper ore right now is going to be like going through sand with this thing. Uh, okay, so what I basically need to do is I need to get the copper. Now the copper dust coming out of here and going up. So I do have to get some copper going. Uh, at the same time, too. What did I come down here for again? Oh, I can't remember. I need copper for one. But I also need... Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, I'm back. So, I didn't get too much. I did get some on... Get some copper to start with. It just doesn't have to be much. It's just for... For pneumatic pipes when I get to them. When I get to them. <laughs> But anyways, uh, I wonder if I should go, yeah, I'm just going to go straight junctions. Forget it, let's do this normally. Uh, what was, uh, hang on. Nah, that's right. I prefer to have those on. It's just how I am. Uh, junctions, I'm going to need aluminum. Ooh, desert sound. Just what I always wanted. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, I think aluminum is about all we got really for junctions, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I definitely have to set up more chests like that. Comes in handy. Okay, we don't need pipes. Uh, let's see what I can. Hmm. Got two junctions there. Take those out. Let's see what I have on me. Can I make more? Uh, make a whole bunch. You're gonna need them anyways. Uh, oh, take that block. Don't want to lose that. Okay, and arms too. So uh, dump this over here. Iron. Okay. What's next? Uh, hmm. Did you think I knew what I was doing? Huh. Okay, get all that stuff. I want to get. Oh yeah, the copper coming from here. 
So I need to get an arm. I need more arms. Do I have stainless on me? I do. Okay. Let's take one for now. Uh, drop the sand. I'm going to drop the desert de sound too because I don't care about the desert sound. Oh yeah, that's right. I was like, wait, why did you only make one? And I realized I only made one. Alright, so we do this. And... Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay, that's how we're going. Alright, now I can just put some junctions in and we are good to go. Okay, so the junction is going to go over here. Can I place it right on the robot? Probably not. I can. Perfect. Alright, so you are there. Uh, where is my hole? All the way over there, huh? Hmm. Fine, we'll do that. We'll go over here. Excuse me. We'll do that. Uh, we gotta get uh, some blocks. I guess I'll have to splurge and use the reinforced concrete. Not that I want to, but we have to. But it actually has a nice texture to it. I think we might have to start building with that. Uh, oh yeah, it's going to go down one more. And then we go over here. Let's see. We want that. So that's in line with that. And... Oh. Actually, that's wrong. I told you, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I never do. I just wing it. Okay, that is good. Then we can take uh, that one out. Can I get it? Can I get it? Okay, I got it. Good. And then uh, that out. Let's try not to take the pipe out at the same time. Okay, so let's start at this end here. Okay, so from here, in the blue, out the white. Or in the white, out the blue. So in white, out blue. Input white, output blue. Okay, and then we're in white, out pink. In white, out pink. In and out. Uh, we've also made a suggestion to adding a button or something that automatically, automatically creates the roots. Alright, so yeah, in, out. Okay, then from here we're going green to yellow in green out yellow green yellow uh, you don't have to set the roots it's just if you have a lot of resources going through then at least this uh, speeds it up considerably all right and yes we're going out like that so in red out blue oh and then from here uh, in white, out oh, red, perfect. And that is that. So now, okay, I just had one of those moments where I thought, oh wait, did I do something wrong here? But no, that's what I, we got going, and our separator is there, so let's actually fire up the system, see what happens. Okay. See, and that was the thing I was talking about, about this thing being empty. So as long as there's something in there, I can actually uh, just have an empty rack with the icon and then just use that as like a bit of a display. So are you going to do your thing? Probably not. Oh, it got some. Oh, let's run upstairs. Let's go witness this, witness this in action. I'm guessing it has priority because it's stainless steel. Alright, so you are going up here. Eventually, yes you are. So that's gonna, I'm going to have to filter out the zinc, or the nickel, iron, and cobalt. And that's all going to the stalker. That's a lot of slots. Wow. Alright, so now I gotta let this go for a few minutes, build up so I can take one of each, so I can actually place it in here because this is gonna be outputted on one. We'll get to the take one and go from there. And then from here, 
We just need alloy smelter. Oh. No, that's fine. That's fine. Getting the conveyor here. And then we need... I mean, there's the alloy smelter. I decided to go an electric furnace on this one too, just because we have the power we might as well be using it. Uh, that and I don't really want to have to worry about the juggling act that is the creosote situation. Can I have that please? Uh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Gia back. Ow, hit my head. Of course. Alright, so we place that there. We do... Okay, where is the power on this again? Uh, where is my screwdriver? We need a tool belt. Or a multi tool. Okay, power is there. Let's actually go this way. And then what I'll do is I'll put the power coming right off of there. Perfect. See? Almost like I have a plan. Okay, and Concrete small tiles, place you there. Get some wire. Oh, get some space on the hot bar. Shift clicking doesn't work if you don't have the space for it. Okay, there and there. And helps if I actually put it in the right spot. Not that it matters. Well, actually it does. Just because I want it to matter. Alright, let's get some light. Alright, so you are producing heat. Now you just need something to use that heat. Said alloy smelter will work just fine. Oh, that's actually in the wrong spot. I can't rotate this, can I? No, I can't. Yes, that's in the wrong spot because I have to have an arm going into it. Alright, like so, and... You never realize how many of those things you actually go through. Actually, I might need two of them. Okay, and... Rotate you that way, and that way, and then... We just throw a chest down. Although it doesn't really have to be stainless steel, but... It's what I have. All right, and that should be it. So now all we have to do is take one nickel, one iron, and one cobalt. Okay, so you are gonna be iron. Oh, that's interesting. Multiple slots. Cool. Not, I'm, not that I'm gonna use them and nickel because I do want to get some more shelves here I might actually be able to make them not out of stainless actually I can what am I talking about it's right over here uh, what do I need I need plates don't I no component or parts I call them components because they used to be components and I need more wood let me go cut down a tree, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And, I've decided to get rid of these. Well, not really both of them. Because I do want to still use that arm, believe it or not. Okay, I placed your arm back. And, I went and made, well, I'm making four chests. Which will be just a moment. Okay. Alright, so we've got the shells. Let's go ahead and flip flip that around and remove it because I put it in the wrong spot and I think I was inside it so there's that we'll go over here we'll do the same over here there there and there uh, the nickel where was the nickel going is it going in this one it was is so is the iron hmm I think I'll just leave it for now. Anywho, I think uh, that is filling up nicely. Uh, everything is ready to go. Hopefully we 
don't have an issue here. So let's see what happens. So the copper is going to come out first. I might have to slow that down to get copper level, I think. Uh, I don't have any copper on me. I could probably have conveyors downstairs. Try to get something else going through. I'm sorry. Cobalt. Nickel. Iron. Oh. Do that. And now I'm also realizing too that I'm going to have a, a backlog issue too with this. filtering robots let me see that let this run for a little bit and I'll see how it looks okay I kind of worked something out here I'd uh, uh, go a little hokey about it but it does work uh, I had to fix a few mistakes but it is should be working now so basically what I did is I got this one set up to uh, grab the zinc and then this one is just a regular robot this one goes in this one goes out uh, this one grabs the zinc, goes in there, and then goes in here, and then this way, as long as I can keep this conveyor belt running, there's always going to be zinc going in here, nickel, or not nickel, but zinc, yeah. Now I just got to wait for this to come through. I'm going to have to do some mining eventually, get that copper line downstairs up and running again. Uh, let's go ahead and put this in there, move this out. Why is it taking the copper first? I have no idea. That's fine. I love how every block's got like his own animation. All right, let's let's just speed this up. Let's take this out. Watch everything else go through. Make sure the, the nickel. How's that? That's the zinc. sort of see the color difference very f fine difference hold on hold on hold on hold on I'm sorry why are you not picking up Zinc, zinc, yes. Let's see, okay, I got four zinc here. I'm not picking up zinc, what am I picking up? Oh yes, iron. Somehow these got jammed. Alright. That would be the problem right there. Let's okay, switch this around and hopefully end the episode. That's better. Uh, so I'm just going to take all these conveyors out again. Uh, these multi tools are so slow, I tell you. There, there, and okay. Let's watch this. Okay, so that is zinc. There is nickel. Okay.
And again, what is going on here? Am I really that slow? Hmm. I think I might have to get another filter and robot. We might have to do the whole return turn loop thing. For some reason, iron's getting through. Iron. Was it iron? I didn't even see what I picked up. Uh, hang on, hang on. Okay, I think I figured out the problem. Apparently that's not iron. Apparently that's cobalt. And uh, that one there was still set to iron for some reason. So I cleared it. So the iron's going in. Uh, zinc's going in. Iron's going in. Lots of iron's going in. Uh, let's see here. So let's see if the cobalt goes through. Copper. Okay. And that should be cobalt. Aha. That was it. But at least I have the return loop just in case. All right. So that is that. Uh, that is making brass. We got 100 brass already. Cool. All right. Well, that is uh, one thing taken care of. I will have to do a whole bunch of mining out off camera. Uh, might even upgrade the copper line a little bit. But let's go run down here quickly. And I think I, I do realize I think I got uh, more than one cabinet up or one rack of more than one thing up there. I think I actually have another thing like cobalt up there. I'm not sure, but uh, let's see. Yeah, we're out of iron here. Copper. Copper, not iron. Alright, and that is still macerating, so it's going to grab it whenever it can. Uh, this one has priority, so it should grab first. But what I want to do, see how we're doing back here. Okay, so 3.30, the dump is not running. So if the green is greater than yellow. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I know what we can do here. If green is greater than yellow, then... Let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this, because it's 256. I want to close that. Let me figure something out here. Yeah, so my... Uh, I was mining some copper and game crashed and apparently it ended the mesh. Oh, look, titanium. Uh, oh well. Let's see if we can get out of here. It doesn't look like it. Looks like I might have to do a teleport to home. See if we can parkour our way up through the ter the broken terrain, or I'll wind myself up in a cave. Hooray! I fixed it. Oh, that was interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was just getting some copper. I wanted to get some supplies. Oh, uh, not supplies. Some resources. Oh, there's a whole bunch of copper here. Uh, just so we can get the system up and running. So what I'm gonna do? Let's not place that there. Could actually use that tank. Let's see if we can get up here and grab all this copper. Well, that's a huge vein. Oh, yeah. I love how this thing just chews through it, too. I actually can't wait to try uh, titanium. I don't even know how high the tools go. But anyways, I think I'm going to call this episode here. I realize we're like extremely long on this one. And I really don't feel like getting editing everything out. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.